Hello, my name is Dave Allardyce, also known as Dave Paradise. I'm one of the Glenferrick brand ambassadors based here in Austin, Texas. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you to our 21 year old, the Glenferrick Reserva Rum Cask Finish. So pour yourself something nice and let's get into it. So, first things first, Glenferrick is a distillery in Dufton, which is in Speyside in the northeast of Scotland. It's part of the William Grant and Sons family, which includes brands such as Balvenie, Hendrix, and Milagro Tequila. But the real backstory of Glenferrick uh, is down to William Grant himself, and this was the man who founded the distillery in 1887. Since then, we've had six malt masters in charge of our whiskies. Number five was David Stewart, and he came up with the idea to create a rum cask finish for the Glenferrick 21 year old. And when it was first released, it was in the early 2000s, and it was actually called the Havana Reserve, which was using Cuban rum casks to influence the finishing process for this whiskey. But shortly thereafter, we changed it up to Caribbean or Caribbean rum casks because of the embargo from Cuba to the US, which wouldn't allow this product to be sold in the US. And the US is obviously a very important market. It's the biggest market in the world for single malt scotch whiskey. So let's get into a little bit more about how it tastes and why it tastes the way it does and uh, how exactly the whiskey is put together. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to pour myself a dram. So the 21 year old, typically with Glenferrick, uh, we age in different types of casks. The two common ones that we use the most are ex-bourbon casks, which are American oak, and ex-sherry casks, which are from Spain. Um, every now and again we'll, we'll tweak it and we'll use something a little bit different. And so in the reserve of rum cask finish, obviously we're using a rum cask. The next question at this point, usually when we do tastings in person, is where do you get the rum casks? Uh, it's a great question, I'm glad you asked. The rum casks we used to get from the Caribbean and uh, we finally realised uh, that we weren't getting the consistency and we weren't getting the, the quality that we were looking for. So, we had really good quality of cask coming from the US. So the idea that David Stewart had, uh, David Stewart was our malt master at the time and he's now been working with William Grant and Sons for oh, 57 years or so, I think. Can't remember, a lot of years. And uh, he decided we were gonna bring a blend of rums to the distillery so that we could season American oak casks on site. So we'd put this blend of rums into the casks, we'd leave it there for a few months, we'd pass it on to the next batch of casks. And as you can see, it's a really gorgeous looking whiskey. So let's get into a little nosing and tasting, shall we? Glenferrick always has a little bit of fruit, so there's obviously a little bit of uh, apples and pears, a little bit of raisins, and a little bit of creamy fudge as well. This this is a dangerous whiskey. This could disappear quite quickly. Um, if you haven't tried it, put it on your list. So this is the 21 year old. It's a rum cask finish. Uh, it's gonna run you about $200 US. Uh, I'd like to wrap up by saying thanks for stopping by this video. Enjoy your whiskey responsibly. Slanjava, and uh, I'll catch you next time.